forget that they will fly again and catch up, catch up with the other group. So that's all. Thank you. <laughs> It's fascinating how he's really. Kaya pa rin pagka nasa herbs in our group, you hear a lot of noise. That noise is really actually a cheer for the one in front or for everyone to encourage each other. Go, 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 go. The cheer is squad sila. Okay. So, also that one, that part where they go down to help the one who is weak, and they will only leave behind the first or the individual if really he or she cannot make it. Or, once she recuperate, they together fly back to the group. And uh, let us not forget, once the leader in the wish shape is tired, right? They switch. Okay, and then they switch. He goes back, or she goes back, and then there is another one who takes care to him. So he supports his son, and then we really can learn that from them. Okay, last one. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I have seen from the lessons from the beast, there is a shared leadership. Walang iwanan. Walang iwanan talaga. And then, parang nakita ko din na, as a leader, they do not dwell on the failure of the others. Kasi pag na ano yung isa, nandang yung dalawa ang susupport. Kaya makita din natin to be a leader is to really have to be also a support to those who have fallen back in the even. So that they can go again, rise up again, and be there again within the community. And uh, what's really beautiful about the life of the guests is there is also a chance to, as a leader, you didn't have always to be there in front. Uh, I have noticed in the life of the guests that they can really let go of whatever position they have. And then they can also be a follower to support again the next leader. We sometimes we've not seen in our churches, in our organization, when most of the times so when leaders are there, they do, not, they do not want to let go of their position anymore. You know, so I think this is a very good lesson that we have really to learn as good leaders to let go of our positions and also give chances to others to become also good leaders themselves. Because they, they sometimes we have to see the potential of our members to be good leaders. So as a leader, we just don't lead but we must also look into the potentials of our leaders, also uh, members, to become also leaders themselves. So that when the time comes that we will no longer be there because of what is indispensable, we have left somebody to lead again the flock. <laughs> okay, so that was really inspiring. Okay, uh, now let's hear some reflections you have on Jesus as leader. This time we had the dimension of faith. Uh, what did you see? What did you discover? We are tackling the issue of bigotry. How do you see Jesus as bigger? Maybe you can share some thoughts on this. We will only ask for three because we have less time because we have other activities to do. Is that okay? Yes, we have a few.
Okay, we gave chances to those who have nurtured and selected. Yung tatlong nauna, one, two, three, okay? Tatlong
pray also for your brothers. Thank you. Okay, so it's good to realize that the main ingredients of leadership really are there in Jesus. So, the vision is always clear to me. I have to bring each of you to the Bible. This is my job. This is my mission. It's always clear. The interpersonal relation is always there. He knows them personally. He takes care of them. He supports them. Even if they turn their back, He reaches out. And He never abandons anyone. That's how Jesus' leadership is all about. Uh, I, I realized, you know, in my readings of different authors about leadership, they have lots of adjectives about a leader. And if you put them all together, we, you, in, in fact, we have volumes and volumes of books about who a leader is and what the leader does. But one author that struck me is, and this is Joseph Boyer, he said, oh, you can list all the qualities you think about the leader. But I tell you, he says, a leader has the following, and I read, and it's in your book. Leadership requires love. The best leaders are servants. You lead by giving to others. It struck me because this is how you can describe Jesus. And this is coming from a, let's call it, secular discipline. Mm, I don't know if this Joseph Boyer, if he's even a Christian or a Catholic or what. I don't even know if he came across the, the Bible or the, the gospel. It might be fascinating to find out. <laughs> But definitely, his words really struck me because this is another way of saying what Jesus did. 